Alright guys, in today's video we have some information to go over regarding some upcoming PlayStation 5 games starting with Godfall and a new trailer that has surfaced online which should be playing in the background so you can check it out for yourself as we're going over this information. We're also going to be discussing a game called Deep Down which was originally revealed alongside the PlayStation 4 and was meant to be a PlayStation 4 exclusive developed by Capcom but we haven't heard anything about it for quite some time and I want to discuss how it seems possible, though maybe not likely, but certainly possible, we could see a re-reveal of some sort for this game deep down alongside the PlayStation 5. And finally, we're going to be discussing Grand Theft Auto 6 or possibly an upcoming Rockstar game that they're going to be announcing. There is maybe a few signs and a few hints pointing to that being a possibility. And if Rockstar were to announce a new game soon, you have to imagine it would only make sense for them to do so at the PlayStation 5 reveal event. So before going any further, if you think you're going to enjoy the video or you're going to find it informative or you just enjoy the content in general, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps the videos out more than you guys know. And also hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done that either. But starting here with the Godfall trailer, it says a trailer for Godfall, the upcoming PC and PlayStation 5 fantasy looter slasher, has popped up online and gotten people excited. If you recall, Godfall announced itself at the Game Awards 2019 as the world's first PlayStation 5 game, our first glance at next gen while also being a game for your personal computer. The first look sought to impress with a collection of shiny chrome characters, particle effects, and backing from Borderlands publisher Gearbox, though it is being developed externally by Counterplay Games, the studio behind collectible card battler Duelist. Now today's trailer has given us a better look at Counterplay's vision for the game. A few seconds were posted yesterday as a teaser on Reddit before the full trailer dumped this afternoon, but before we take a look, it's worth remembering a few things. First off, it's unclear where the footage originates from. Counterplay initially sure, but the anonymous poster who released the video this week did not provide further details on how they came into possession of it. Is it a leak or is it marketing? We cannot say for certain. The user, who has now deleted their account, claimed the footage was a trailer which was used internally, made in early 2019, specifically March 2019, making it nearly a year old. Internal trailers are invariably used as a target for the final product to hit and not an indicator of how something will definitively look, especially so long before release, Godfall is set for launch in holiday of 2020. It's also worth remembering Godfall is a PC as well as a PS5 game, and it's highly likely to be developed using the former, not to mention nearly a year ago, Counterplay will likely not have had final PS5 specs. With all that in mind, it's a snazzy looking trailer, just don't expect it to be 100% representative of what all PlayStation 5 games will look like, or indeed what Godfall will look like when it releases later this year. So I want it to specifically mention this because, or this article I should say, because I think they do point out a few important things that we do need to understand, is that what we're looking at here is certainly not representative of what the final product is going to be. It could very well look very different from what we're seeing. And I don't think what we're seeing here looks that bad. However, I will see, I will say a lot of people are saying that based off of what they're seeing here, they're not very impressed. And the number one thing I see floating around is how people are saying they expect more for a PlayStation 5 game. They expect it to look significantly better. Now, here's my stance on this. Godfall is not the big AAA game that I think Sony is going to use to get people excited to go out there and buy a PlayStation 5 and upgrade from the PlayStation 4. I think it's more of like a supplemental game. I don't know how many games Sony plans to have at launch for the PS5 or how many games they plan to have within the first six months or year of the PlayStation 5 being on the market. We only know that Godfall currently is one of them. It's the only one that's officially announced. And if it launches... At the same time as the PlayStation 5, the way I'm seeing it is, okay, maybe it's not going to be a full-blown $60 title. I really can't say whether or not it looks full-blown AAA. What I've seen so far doesn't give me that feeling. But even if it is, it looks like a fun co-op game to play with some of my friends who may also be picking up PlayStation 5s day one that I'm going to be looking forward to. It's not the game that's getting me like super pumped for the PlayStation 5. It's not the game that's like, oh man, everybody look at this. We know those games are coming. And to me, this just comes off as a supplemental game. I'm not trying to bash the game in any way. I can, I'm just simply saying I can understand why people are looking at this and they're not feeling too impressed. Like this isn't the game that they were expecting to be playing day one with, you know, the PlayStation 5 when they decide to buy it. 
And I can promise you that those games, the ones you're thinking of in your head right now that we haven't seen yet, you will see. And Sony is purposely saving them for a reason. There's also a reason this is the very first game that Sony wanted to put out here because it's just meant to be a little bit of a tease to get you excited for something that's going to be on offer. Now, I want it to be known that I could be wrong. Maybe Sony is planning on leaning in very hard on um, a game like Godfall. But overall... I think it just looks like a pretty good game. It looks potentially like there could be some fun to be had, and I do like the fact that it's melee-based. For me, that's the number one thing. I'm a big Dark Souls fan, as you know, so if the combat is anything like that, and we hear, you know, we're hearing about big boss battles, then okay, uh, I'm all for that, and I'm just going to be looking to see what the final gameplay is going to be like in its raw, you know, purest form. But until then, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this trailer down below. Moving on from that, we're going to be discussing Deep Down, which was a game that was announced for the PS4, and we haven't heard anything about it for quite some time. Back in November, apparently, this is what uh, Capcom had to say about Deep Down. They said, the original team is clearly no longer together at this point, but people might have noticed that we've kept the trademark registered, and it's not been completely given up on. Every year we examine titles we're doing in the future, and we bring up projects to approve and move forward. There's not much I can say about it, but if you've noticed, we've kept the trademark. It means we haven't given up on the title completely. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this and bringing it up, even though it was discussed by Capcom back in November, is apparently yesterday GameStop Germany listed deep down as a working title. It says GameStop Germany has listed the upcoming PS4 exclusive deep down, a collaboration between Capcom and Japan Studio, as a working title. Now, whether or not this really means anything, I can't say for sure. I did just want to bring it up here, though, because you would imagine... If Capcom and Sony were to reveal a game like Deep Down or bring it out and let people know that it is still alive, it is a game that they still want to do something with, whether it's, you know, way in the future, you know, it could be in the very early stages still, which is crazy to think considering it was announced back in 2013, but they essentially have to reboot the entire process. I have to imagine the PlayStation 5 reveal event would be a good time to do it because looking at deep down it looked like it had some serious potential i think that's how a lot of people felt about it like it seemed like there was certainly some interest there and then it just dropped because capcom just didn't say anything more about it and they didn't talk about it anymore so who knows maybe we will see or hear more about deep down at the upcoming playstation 5 reveal event but moving on from that we're going to be discussing rockstar games and how it seems they could be readying a ps5 game reveal says Rockstar could be ready to reveal a PlayStation 5 game as a new job listing on the label's website indicates that it's searching for a video editor who can communicate the emotional content and excitement of a game within a 60-second format. While this is not necessarily indicative of an imminent announcement at all, it's been over a year since Red Dead Redemption 2 released, and it's possible the organization may have something in the pipeline for Sony's next-gen system. Exactly what the organization will do next is more interesting. Is a more interesting point of the. Bait, Grand Theft Auto 6 seems like the natural next move for the firm, but considering the ongoing success of Grand Theft Auto Online, is it all that likely is it all that likely at this point? Red Dead Redemption will probably be put back on the shelf for a while after 2017's long-awaited sequel, while Bully 2 is often requested by fans but seems unlikely to ever see the light of day. Maybe former PlayStation 3 exclusive agent could resurface. So on top of this information, uh, there were a few other things we have to point out here in regards to Rockstar. The first being not too long ago, they did update, I believe, their social media pictures. And um, even though it's not that big of a deal, I believe they were. it was the Rockstar logo with the red background to signify their focused on Red Dead Redemption, and recently they went back to their uh, normal yellow background color, and a lot of people were looking at that as a sign as, oh, look at this, is Rockstar getting ready to announce something, because you have to remember the first sign I believe they gave uh, for Red Dead Redemption 2 a while ago was they changed their logo to the red R, which signified they're getting ready to talk about Red Dead Redemption. This could be a small subtle hint that they are getting ready for this on top of this job listing and also apparently it was just revealed through their uk tax return um that they are in fact working on <laughs> gta 6 which is a very bizarre way i'd say to have something like that revealed 
But it says here that who would have thought we would find a video game rumor inside of a UK tax return? Well, that's the nature of the video game industry right now. Grand Theft Auto developer Rockstar North may have just accidentally revealed that development of the sixth mainline entry in the blockbuster franchise is well underway inside its latest UK tax form. As described by Tax Watch UK and reported on by Games Radar, the studio has filed for a significant increase in its claims for video game tax relief, approved on the basis that what is that um, what it is working on is culturally British. As Games Radar explains, this is a historic tax requisite that allows video game developers to seek large subsidies for high cost productions with cultural ties to the UK. The Grand Theft Auto series has deep ties to British development, and so as Tax Watch, Watch UK claims, this tax return all but proves production of the next edition of GTA is well underway. So I know that was a little bit of reading, but I just thought that that was incredibly interesting because one of the things that I honestly would predict if I had to make a prediction right now is if we're going to see the first tease of Grand Theft Auto 6, I could very much see that happening alongside the PlayStation 5 reveal, and it would be absolutely massive if Sony was somehow able to secure the first ever look at GTA 6, even if it is just a second 60 second trailer or just a, I mean a 60 second tease, I don't know. I don't know if that would be considered a tease. That seems like a little long, but that would be incredibly exciting. And so I just wanted to bring this information to you guys. I know we've been talking about a lot of leaks and a lot of rumors, and it can get a little bit tiring because there's just so many floating around. So this stuff we talked about is all stuff that is on the record. It doesn't necessarily confirm anything. You know, I mean, the Godfall trailer is the biggest thing we have right now that's like, look, now we have a, a, a minute-long Godfall trailer that just popped up on the Internet. Talking about deep down... As unlikely as it seems, it there is a little bit of evidence here that maybe points to something happening with Deep Down. But GTA and Rockstar Games, it's going to be really interesting to see because we know something's going on. It's just a matter of what is going on and, more importantly, when are we going to hear about it or see it. So let me know your thoughts about all this down in the comments below. Again, leave the video a like if you did enjoy it. it really helps it out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys... Take care.